Uh, good evening. Um, I want to talk. The other day I uh, talked about uh, one of my clients and friends uh, asked about whether I said uh, we are physical beings on a spiritual journey or spiritual beings on a physical journey. And um, if we got get caught up in the words, we've missed the whole concept of what I'm uh, attempting to talk to you about anyway. But I, I think that uh, all the permutations are there. Uh, I think some people are spiritual beings on a physical journey. Some people are physical journey, physical beings on a spiritual journey. Spiritual beings on a physical journey. Physical beings, and I think there are some spiritual beings on a spiritual journey. Uh, I've never talked to them. Maybe the Dalai Lama is a spiritual being on a spiritual journey, but I think he's uh, more of a physical being on a spiritual journey or a spiritual being on a physical journey. Uh, I don't mean to be confusing about this, but. Uh, it's not about the words. Uh, I think the spiritual beings on a spiritual journey would be like uh, the people that get channeled and the spooks that come in and things like that. Um, there's a book called The Disappearance of the Universe, and this man claims to sit with two apparitions uh, who co coherently dus discuss the universe with him. And I think that those would be spiritual beings on a spiritual journey. Um, I think that there are probably also physical beings on physical journeys. Uh, the, probably the most dramatic example for me of a physical being on a physical journey would have to be the Bush family. Uh, there doesn't seem to be much spiritual there. There doesn't seem to be much kindness, much love. Uh, there seems The family seems to be uh, content on killing other people on the planet for no particular reason except for their own gain. Uh, and that would be a physical being on a physical journey. Uh, but regardless, uh, again, I, I think it's all uh, semantics. Uh, what I want to look at with folks is how to get them into what I call present time consciousness. If this puts you in your head, all this physical being, be, uh, spiritual being shit, then it's not worth it. Uh, it's not worth uh, looking at or arguing or even thinking about, basically. Uh, what are you noticing right now? Are you the same or different as when this uh, video started? You have to be different. Uh, how are you different from yesterday? Uh, how are you different from the day before? Uh, right now, look around. Uh, look at the lighting in the room. Uh, check out the sensations of your body. Uh, at times, when you're uh, in your essence, it will make sense that we are physical beings on a spiritual journey. At times when you're essence, it will make sense that you're spiritual beings, beings on a physical journey. When I do my classes, people listen to the words sometimes, and I ask them not to. I ask them not to believe me and not listen to the words. But they do, they get caught up in the words, and they'll say, well, yesterday you said exactly the opposite. And I say, yeah, yesterday exactly the opposite was true. Things change that rapidly. There is a paradox. When I work, I get out into the paradox. I enjoy the paradox and the confusion. Uh, and I know that language is the most abused invention of man. So, have a fun day. Uh, www.micpperformance.com